Hey, Brian here from QuietLabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show you uh, possibly uh, the poten highest potential of uh, an open source trading platform I'm probably going to go with. Um, my dilemma is I've shown videos very recently on Java components, or I, ca I consider them components or supportive applications that out of four, three of them are written in uh, Java. That being a stock screener, uh, a trading simulation which I've shown called Web Curve Sim, and the latest uh, visualization software uh, called AIO Trader. Um, that's in Java as well. All open source, all free. Go get them. So that brings me to my trading platform, which is probably the most critical of all of them. Um, probably the most complicated as well. I've looked at. Uh, a variety both done in .NET, namely C Sharp as well as Java um, and obviously as I've just strongly hinted the training platform I want needs to be in Java um, to convert uh, the messaging between uh, a .NET app and a Java app is just it can be done but it's just it's it's just time getting eaten away on, on stupid stuff in my mind so Right now, I'm looking at the different types of uh, open source uh, chain platforms for HFT purposes done in uh, Java. Well, what does that include? Uh, ActiveQuant, MarketCetra, and this one called AlgoTrader. Um, the two that I've talked about, MarketCetra, um, it, just, it just seems to be very abandoned. It's really more of a community edition which includes uh, limited uh, um, functionality and what it will support in terms of what kind of market assets you can use uh, for the commercial. Uh, to use uh, options, you need to have a commercial edition where you need to subscribe to about, I've seen rates as high as over $1,000 a month for this thing, so that's tossed out. Um, the other ones that I've looked at, including ActiveQuant, I've looked at it three times over the last probably two years. Um, I honestly can never get the thing working. Uh, the documentation is the documentation, but I'm still always struggling with that platform. I just don't get very far with it. I get frustrated with it, so I just start banging my head against the wall. Um, in the .NET world, uh, the one that I've looked at called the Trade Link, I love that one. That is probably a really good one, but again, it's not in Java. So here I am using this one called AlgoTrader, um, uh, which is a code, a Google Code project. Um, basically, I, I'm new to it, so please be patient with me on this. This is a very complex platform. Uh, it's built uh, using Esper. Uh, has an interactive brokers connection as well as a fixed connection. Now, the nice thing I like about this is that this is all I have really available being in Canada as a broker. Fix I like because well it enables hopefully enables me to easily talk to my um, web curve simulator um, and uh, if not I can still just import my uh, use a dependency for the exchange uh, jar file from that app and then still be able to access and and uh, execute uh, some client uh, uh, testing. Uh, code as well within this one app if I want, if it doesn't even work out. But nonetheless, this is what um, the uh, components are. This one's what makes comp the, the whole app fairly complicated, so it's really meant for um, more advanced Java users or developers. Um, it's using UML as the model that you design through something called Magic Draw, which is open source, or so supposedly it is. Um, and then from there you can use a code generator in this uh, framework called Andrew MDA. From there uh, you can use uh, a CEP engine uh, for your strategies using Esper. Um, and CEP is Complex Engine Processor. Uh, that in itself is, uh, can be somewhat comp complicated. But these two are open source frameworks, so it's not like they're uh, commercial uh, frameworks or not, they're, they are open source. 
Uh, for the persistence uh, for the database, uh, we're using MySQL um, for Hibernate, which is kind of good because let's say if you want to port it over to Postgres or I don't know Oracle or, or SQL Server, you can do that through the Hibernate, or you should be able to. Um, and then you get into more of uh, what they call a SOA or service oriented architecture with all your wiring and crap uh, which is generated from your uh, Andro, the code from your Andro MDA um, and they could automatically wire it up through Spring uh, and uh, using uh, SOA techniques uh, and lastly there's a quick, F, uh, quick, F, quick fix J for your uh, fix protocol and again that should be able to hopefully um, be able to um, uh, talk to your web curve sim, the trading simulator. Um, and it's got some decent uh, uh, full capabilities of uh, features, you know, automate strategies. You can parallelize using it with the Esper. Obviously, I talked about the interactive brokers and the fix. Um, and you can simulate and uh, run several strategies in parallel. Uh, back test with uh, different historical data that comes from your uh, MySQL your database um, and obviously you got some pretty sophisticated portfolio tracking and performance measurement which is good for your uh, HFT um, and they can generate your own trading signals but again you can easily integrate that into uh, using the R caller uh, R package for your analytics to tap into the R world um, because th this is totally open source. So that's the direction I'll be going. But nonetheless, I wanted to show you this. Um, uh, there's these two documents here, the Algo Trader and the Algo Trader CRUD docs. Important, but what really makes it a lot easier to pick up are these three videos. Um, the architecture one, this is over an hour long. Um, when you do open it up, it will take you to uh, Mediafire. That's where the file is hosted. It's over 140 megs, so be prepared for a long download. Um, and then this one's about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, developing strategies and live strategies, which is another, um, no, sorry, this is a, a 20, 30 minute um, video, and this one's another long one. The, the, uh, it's about an hour. Um, I think it's a big one as well. Yeah, so that's, that's over uh, 190 megs of downloading. So that's pretty cool um, I just wanted to show you that I do have the app running um, it does seem to work okay um, and that's from uh, let me just show you that when you download uh, here uh, in my case I've downloaded I believe it's uh, one of these MOV uh, algo trader yeah this one right here um, so what I've done was is if if you come into your algo trader, come under your usual bin, uh, in here there's a run folder, a run batch. And that's what I'm running right now. Is this run batch? And it seems to be running okay. So I'm not seeing any exceptions or errors there, which is good. Um, so now the trick question where do you get the source code you would think you'd be able to uh, get the source code from here um, you can check it out from those videos that I showed you um, that's the key I think